I will wear, can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I got to be good. Stop singing, you'll lose your memory. How much memory did you lose? Who am I? Do you remember me? You're my mommy. Every time you sing, you lose memory. The more you sing, the more memory you lose. If you lose too much memory, the memory police will take you away. Forever. Who wants chocolate ice cream? Ah! An intruder! Oh, honey, stop. That's your dad. What's it, dad? Come on, Sissy, let's go to school. If we ever broke up, I'd never be sad. No, stop singing. If you keep singing, you'll lose all your memory. But this song's so catchy. Who am I? Do you still remember me? What's going on here? Little Sissy was singing. Do you remember anything? Do you know who I am? Of course, you're mommy, but I don't know who that girl in front of me is. She lost all our memories together. Sissy, come on, you can't forget me. All our memories together. At least she still remembers me. As long as she still has some memory left, the memory police won't take her away. Thinking about everything that we... So, how was the kiss? It was alright. Thanks, Professor. Only two more to go and then I can finally meet my soulmate. Good luck. Brianna, who's next on your list? Eugene. That'll be easy. He's such a nerd. Hey, Eugene. Basically in quantum physics. What do you want? Wanna kiss? I don't know. I'm kind of out of your league. <laughs> Eugene, just give me a chance. Please, please. I guess. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want anyone finding out about this. Trust me. Neither do I. Thanks, Eugene. You're so mid. <laughs> only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. I'll make things weird. Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. It'll make things weird. Jason. Buddy. Bud. <laughs> Why are you acting weird? You're the last person on my kiss list, and then I can meet my soulmate, so... No, Brianna, I can't kiss you. We're best friends. It'll make things weird. Are you serious right now? Jason, how about you kiss me on the cheek? That way, things won't be weird. I guess that's fine. It didn't work. It has to be on the lips. See ya! Wait! Jason, you're being a bad friend. A real friend would help me find my soulmate. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. Brianna, the real reason I don't want to kiss you is because I don't want you to find your soulmate. Why not? Because I'm in love with you. So, how was the kiss? It was alright. Thanks, Professor. Only two more to go and then I can finally meet my soulmate. Good luck. Brianna, who's next on your list? Eugene. That'll be easy. He's such a nerd. Hey, Eugene. Basically in quantum physics. What do you want? Wanna kiss? I don't know. I'm kind of out of your league. <laughs> Eugene, just give me a chance. Please, please. I guess. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want anyone finding out about this. Trust me. Neither do I. Thanks, Eugene. You're so mid. <laughs> Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. I'll make things weird. Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. It'll make things weird. Jason. Buddy. Bud. <laughs> Why are you acting weird? You're the last person on my kiss list, and then I can meet my soulmate, so... No, Brianna, I can't kiss you. We're best friends. It'll make things weird. Are you serious right now? Jason, how about you kiss me on the cheek? That way, things won't be weird. I guess that's fine. It didn't work. It has to be on the lips. See ya! Wait! Jason, you're being a bad friend. A real friend would help me find my soulmate. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. Brianna, the real reason I don't want to kiss you is because I don't want you to find your soulmate. Why not? Because I'm in love with you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm not doing it. I'm not happy. <laughs> if you hear, if you're happy and you know it, you must do whatever she says happily. If you don't do what she says with a smile, you'll die. That's scary. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. It's 7 a.m., bro. It's too early for this.
Uh-oh, Chad wasn't happy and you know it. <laughs> Chad. Brittany, are you okay? I know Chad was your boyfriend. If you're happy and you know it, cut your hair. I love cutting my hair. So happy, so happy. <laughs> no, my beautiful hair. Aw, Brittany wasn't happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. Hello, Brianna. Principal Stevens, you can go down the stairs first. How kind of you. Principal Stevens? Principal Stevens? I think I killed him. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! Are you okay? You look worried. My boyfriend is not going to be happy with me. I killed his dad. Principal Stevens? How could you? You killed my dad? Babe, wait. Please just listen to me. I didn't have a choice. I got happy and you know it to push someone down the stairs. I didn't know he'd die. Why would you choose my dad? If you're happy and you know it, break up with your boyfriend. Babe, we have to break up. You just got a happy and you know it, didn't you? That's funny. I just got one to kill you. Jake, you wouldn't actually do it, right? You wouldn't kill me. I would. Happily. Bree Bree, where are you? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Found you. This is for my dad. Jake? Uh-oh, Jake took too long to complete his happy and you know it. <gasps> Jake, are you still alive? <coughs> Not for much longer. I'm so cold. Here, take this sweater. You gave it to me. You should have it back anyways. I really did love you, Jake. I, I love you. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. Miss Applewood, I got you an apple because you're my favorite teacher. Are you hungry? Thank you. You can just leave it on the desk, Brianna. Miss Applewood, you've been working really hard. You should really take a bite. Okay, I will. I am a little hungry. It's actually pretty... <gasps> Where's Miss Applewood? Class started 10 minutes ago. If she's not here in 15 minutes, legally we can leave. If you're happy and you know it, throw your pen at Eugene. Ow! Why would you? Is it just me, or are we getting a lot more happy and you know it's recently? I'm not. I've only gotten one today. Brianna, you know if you're getting a lot of happy and you know it, it means they're trying to eliminate you, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. Miss Applewood, I got you an apple because you're my favorite teacher. Are you hungry? Thank you. You can just leave it on the desk, Brianna. Miss Applewood, you've been working really hard. You should really take a bite. Okay, I will. I am a little hungry. It's actually pretty... <gasps> Where's Miss Applewood? Class started 10 minutes ago. If she's not here in 15 minutes, legally we can leave. If you're happy and you know it, throw your pen at Eugene. Ow! Why would you? Is it just me, or are we getting a lot more happy and you know it's recently? I'm not. I've only gotten one today. Brianna, you know if you're getting a lot of happy and you know it, it means they're trying to eliminate you, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? I may have caved and texted my ex-boyfriend at 2 a.m. that I miss him. He replied with, come over. I didn't go, okay? I don't need a baby. This is going to tell me if my ex is the one I'm meant to be with or not. I'm going to take that as a no. <sighs> another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. 
There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. Honey, did you just use the bathroom? <laughs> no. Oh no, you aged. You're lying. You can't ever lie because every time you lie, you get older. Look, I dyed my hair green. Ah! It looks really good. It does look like I've aged. Hey, Eugene, I didn't do the homework. Can you give me all the answers? Brianna, are you trying to cheat? No. Hey, Sophie, I've lied twice today and I haven't aged at all. I think I'm immune. No way, you're so lucky. Hey, Timmy, you're handsome. Thanks, Brianna. That's so nice of you. And Jimmy, those are really nice shoes. Really? You think so? I've said so many lies today and I haven't aged at all. Look in the mirror. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to take your medicine. Bombastic side eye. No, Miss Applewood. There'll be no side eyeing today. Now take your medicine. <sighs> you really thought you ate that? No, I don't, but you need to eat your medicine. No, I don't want my medication. I want girl dinner. After you take your medicine. Girl dinner. No, please don't start singing again. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. All right, unplug your life support. Sapplewood, you soiled yourself. Come on, let's go and get you cleaned up. No, I'm in my pooping my pants era. What happened to your clean girl era? Let's bring that back. Clean girl aesthetic. Exactly. Now, let's go get washed up. You're giving me the ick. You're giving me the ick because you smell so bad. Where'd you get that? What are you eating? My husband. Today, we will be making our last girl dinner. Sapplewood, are you on your phone again? Your grandchildren don't want you to have too much screen time. Mind your business, Susan! What is our dessert? Moldy muffins. Yes, that's my favorite food. I need my glasses. Cake? No, no, no. Too sweet, too sweet. Need some mold on it. Pizza? No, no. Too cheese. Too much cheese! No! Yes. Yes. Toenail clippings. What's my drink? Wash it all down with the 7-Up. Good. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. How much? Delectable. Red olives, all right. No, 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 no. I'm not taking my vitamins. Applewood, you need to take your vitamins. No, I told you I'm not taking my vitamins, Susan. <sighs> See, this is why I told you to stop yelling so much. I don't yell. Anyways, scrumdiddlyumptious. Applewood, your grandchildren are here to see you. Tell them to go home. I'm busy. You're not busy. I'm trying to see what kind of dog I am. Ah! Hey, I will be seeing who has a crush on me. Six, five, <laughs> I would climb that like a tree. Miss Applewood, what did you just say? No one's talking to you, Susan. Bartender, I don't know because I'm a material girl. He doesn't make that much money. Cancer, oh, he's a 10 out of 10 in looks. No one would ever have a crush on you, Miss Applewood, because you're not a very nice lady. That's not true, Susan. I have a husband. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! <laughs> what time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home.
I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. Mom. Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. Mm, uh, Honey. Oopsies. Uh-oh, you got a mark. Five mistakes and you're out. Out? Like... Yes, exactly. Two plus two. Brianna, what's the answer? Um, I can't answer it. I don't want to make a mistake. I know the answer. It's three. <laughs> that was Timmy's fifth mistake. Five mistakes and you're out. Brianna, hold this. What is wrong with you? Why did you give that to me to hold when I wasn't ready? Chill out. It's no big deal. No, I can't chill out. I have two marks now. Three more and I'm out. <laughs> Giving her that to hold was a mistake. What? How is that a mistake? Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Um, no, that's my last mistake. You still have three left. It was her mistake. Not mine. <sighs> hey, guys. You can't sit with us. Why not? The reason Sophie's dead. You let her die so you didn't get another mark. Why should I get a mark? I was the one who made a mistake. Five marks and you're out. You're so selfish. Your shoelaces are untied. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Sir, she made a mistake. She forgot to tie her shoelaces and then she tripped. What? No, you tripped me. You're now school's target. That's what you get for killing Sophie. You're going to be next. Don't you cry, mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. No, you can't sing a lullaby. Shh, the baby's sleepy. Wake up, wake up! <coughs> Why did you do that? Why were you singing a lullaby? The baby was crying, so I wanted her to sleep. Lullabies are used for population control. When you sing a lullaby, the person will fall asleep immediately. And if they don't wake up before the timer ends, they'll die. Hey girl, I have a favor. Sure, what's up? I, I need you to sing me a lullaby. No, you'll die. My mom says everyone should start practicing waking up before the timer ends. The government's encouraging people to sing more lullabies to decrease population. Okay, I'll do it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Wake up, wake up! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Stephanie has been eliminated. Attention, everyone. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows. Wake up. Wake up. Cradle I gotta get out of here. The music stopped. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Wake up! Wake up! She stopped singing? Why was the principal singing a lullaby on the intercom? The government's encouraging it. They said they're going to start offering rewards to people who help decrease the population. That's horrible. Rock a bye, baby. Rock.
Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, stop, stop. Star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a. I can't. Timmy, wake up! I can't be a killer! Timmy has been eliminated. You've got money. Baba Black Sheep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Everyone's lost their minds. Babe, come with me. Thanks for getting me out of there, babe. It's not safe here. I need to go home. You should too. I love you. I love you too, babe. That's why I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. What? Baba Black Sheep. Have you any? <laughs> what are these hearts on my face for, Mom? The hearts represent how many people must fall in love with you before you can meet your soulmate. When they fall in love, you lose a heart. What's the gold heart for? That represents your soulmate. You'll only lose the gold heart when your soulmate falls in love with you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What do you want? I really like your left elbow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Get out of here. Oh, no. What's wrong? I need five people to fall in love with me. Look at me. It's never going to happen. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're beautiful. You just need a makeover. Come with me. Who's that fine babe over there? Where? <laughs> He's talking about you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't snort. I, I think I'm in love with you. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. We should go on a date sometime. I'm sorry, Jake, but I don't think I'm your type. I'm Brianna. Who? The weird girl. <laughs> There's no way that's you. Goodbye, Jake. You're doing great. You already got someone to fall in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great? I told you not to snort. I only need three more people to fall in love with me, and then I can meet my soulmate. Look, there's a guy right there. What do I do? Wink at him. Act cute. Play with your hair a bit. Whoa, is everything okay here, little man? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm okay. I was actually trying to flirt with you. <laughs> oh, you were? I thought there was something wrong with you. Hey, my name's Jason. What's yours? Brianna. We should exchange numbers. Okay. You lost another heart. No way, your makeover's working great. Hey, Bri. <laughs> Stop. If you want to get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Your makeover's working great. Hey, Bri. <laughs> Stop. If you want to get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Brianna, look at this insect I found. Wow, <laughs> let me see. Brianna, tell him. Kevin, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. I'm trying to get boys to fall in love with me, so I can't be seen with the weird guy. I really hope that getting boys and being popular is worth losing who you are. So after class, we'll go looking for the next guy. Brianna, don't wear your glasses. I can't see anything. Why do I have to change everything about myself to get boys to like me? Why can't I just be me? Brianna, wait! This is just so boys will fall in love with you so you can find your soulmate. Once you find your soulmate, you can go back to being yourself again. And who's to say my soulmate's going to love me for who I am? No one else does. Brianna, you lost another heart! You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. You lost another heart! You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. Hey, Brianna. Your grades have been doing phenomenal. You're looking really good these days. I like your new look. I'll see you in class. Do you think it was Mr. Stevens that fell in love with you? For his wife and kids' sake? I hope it's not him. Okay, right in front of you, that's Chad. He's one of the hottest guys in the school. Go up to him and ask if he would like to attend Devin's party with you. Kevin's walking this way. So? Hi, Kevin. Don't talk to me. You're too cool for me, remember, Brianna? <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing? Go talk to Chad! Right. Chad! Hi, what's your name? I'm not sure we've met before. <laughs> Stop! Boys don't like it when you cry! I don't care! I don't care about Chad! I'm in love with Kevin! Is Kevin more important than your soulmate? He is! Then go to him! Kevin, I... Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. How'd it go with Kevin? Did you tell him you like him? He likes someone else. Brianna, you lost your last heart. 
Someone else fell in love with you. Chad. No, it wasn't Chad. It was me. Oh? Not in a romantic way, in a platonic way. I fell for you and I saw that you stay true to yourself and know what you want. The only person left to fall in love with you is your soulmate. That means I'm going to find my soulmate anytime now. That's the girl I remember. <laughs> it's so great to be myself again. Hey, do you mind if I sit next to you? Uh, okay. Does anyone know the answer to this equation? 7,422. Whoa. Girl who knows her math. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. What? Nothing. Congrats on finding your soulmate and getting him to fall in love with you. What's this? It's a list of all the people who fell in love with you before your soulmate. The third person on the list is Kevin!